now that we introduce the regression line, we're going to introduce some new terminologies. The total variation about a regression line is the sum of the square of the differences between the y value of each ordered pair and the mean of y. So total variation is defined as the summation y sub i minus y bar to the second power. You can visualize this as well. The total variation is related to total deviation. The deviation is y i minus y bar. When you take the sum, you get the total variation. The explained variation is the sum of the squares of the differences between each predicted y value and the mean of y. Expected variation is the summation of y i hat minus y bar to the second power. y i hat minus y bar is explained deviation. When you take the summation, you're defining explained variation. And finally, you have unexplained variation, which is the sum of squares of the differences between the y value of each ordered pair and each corresponding predicted y value. Unexplained variation is the summation of yi minus yi hat to the second power. So yi minus yi hat, which is unexplained variation. You have a nice visualization here for you. The sum of the explained and unexplained variations is equal to the total variations. Now for the coefficient of determination R squared, it is the ratio of explained variation to the total variation. R squared is the ratio of the fraction and the numerator you have explained variation and the denominator you have total variation. It's very important that you interpret the coefficient of determination correctly. For example, if the correlation coefficient is R about 90%, then the coefficient of determination is 0.81 because we are taking this number and raising it to the second power. So it is decreased. This means that 81% of the variation in Y can be explained by the relation between X and Y. The remaining 19% of the variation is unexplained and it's due to other factors such as sampling error, coincidence, and lurking variables.